to read a Ted art. Yes, it's paper squishy time. <laughs> Today we're going to make a panda egg squishy by popular demand. You've been asking and asking and asking for more paper squishies, so I finally made one. Do check out our uh, playlist or links above and down below for our other squishies. I really love the emoji squishy and the chip or crisp packet squishy is simply genius and so, so easy. So do check those out as well. But in the meantime, let's take a look <laughs> and see how quick and easy it is to make this panda egg squishy. To begin with, you will just need some tape, some pens, some scissors and one sheet of paper. Now, to make things a little bit easier, I created a printable for you um, because I'd spent a little bit of time, in fact, here's my original, creating a nice panda egg shape. Um, and I thought, you know what, if I just photocopy it and scan it in, you guys can also use it or you can draw your own. So you draw your own cutie little panda and use that to make your um, panda corn, uh, not panda corn, panda egg squishy. Um, obviously, we just want to add some cute little rosy cheeks. And also I thought if you use my one, you could trace it and you could make it in different colors. So you could have, instead of a black one, you could make it in blue or pink or whatever color that you fancy. So do use the printable or create your own and um, you know, hopefully it's nice and easy for you. So with the printable, all you do is, is you fold it in half and you cut it out. So I'm just gonna speed this bit up. Great, so you have your panda shape. Now it's time to tape it up. Now I'm gonna keep the back blank. Um, you can of course, um, well actually let's just add some little feet, why not? So you can see it traced through. Um, you don't need the arms, you just need the little feet and you need the body. Speed this bit up for you as well. Once you've got your two parts ready, it's time to tape up. Now you just need to decide where you're gonna stuff your panda corn from. Actually, I think I'm gonna stuff it from the top. So I'm gonna start taping and go up. Sorry, I'm gonna stuff it at this end. So I'm gonna start taping at this end. So basically you just get your tape and start adding your layers. Now I'm gonna do a few layers. Again, I'm gonna speed this bit of the video up and then we'll come to the next bit together. I've got one layer taped, carefully peel it off, bring the second layer, align it and then bring your longer pieces of tape wherever it's easiest first and fold them over. I'm just going to nip into these. Some of them are folded over so I might have to trim them and just add some more tape. Oopsie. Don't worry, you can sort of, we'll cut, we'll tidy all that up later. It's time to cover the back completely with tape and fold over anywhere where there's any gaps left. So I'm gonna do one piece at a time. And uh, again, I'll speed that bit of the video up. You've taped it all up, maybe one more layer. Actually, no, we'll, we'll leave that. We're gonna stuff it now and then we're gonna close it up and finish off this last bit of paper. So, stuffing. What do we use for stuffing? You can use old plastic bags or you can use a pillowcase. This, this is an old, not pillowcase, this is an old pillow. Um, this is a really great way to recycle. I mean, I understand that not everybody has a pillow, but it, this is free and it's recycled. So do ask if there's some old stuff at home. Otherwise, plastic bags is fine. Um, I think they work quite well as well. But, you know, just try out. I think memory foam obviously is really nice, but I don't have any, so <laughs> this will have to do. So I quite like this because it's quite thrifty and it doesn't cost me very much to use and to make. So I'm gonna stuff quite a bit in. Oh, 
maybe a tiny, tiny bit more. Okay, time to finish our off our squishy. Take some more tape. Okay, here we go. Squishy's finished. Should we try it out? Let's see how it goes. Oh, great. I love it. Now, I think I've got a couple of holes in here which I might tape up. But I really, really like it. So there you go. How to make a panda egg squishy. Super easy. You use our printable and um, you know really enjoy making this now remember um, we also have some other squishies we've got a great emoji squishy we've got a great crisp packet or chip packet squishy i love that one you should check it out and also some chocolate bar squishies so do take a look at those they're really fun to make and if you like today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe but above all keep watching keep making i'd love to see you here again soon take care bye